Hey everybody, starting off week two, um, I took a couple of rest days <laughs> and I chuckle a bit when I say rest days because one day was a rest day, the other day we did landscaping in my backyard. So we planted 25 trees. By the time we cut up sod, hauled sod, hauled lumber, hauled bags of mulch, dug 25 holes and planted those trees. My body at the end of that day ached like it has not ached in a long time. It was very physically demanding. I should say though, all that work that I did that day with all the landscaping, I was able to make it through that entire day of all that hard labor, I think because of all this training, it it made it possible for me to do that. Otherwise, there's no way, no way prior to this, I would have made it through an entire day of that much physical labor. Today is a fabulous day because it is the one day of the entire week that both my children's summer camps overlap and I've got this two hour window in my morning to myself. Um, so I, this starts week two of my hybrid schedule. It starts week three of AX1 strength training. Yesterday, I, f I did the final strength training workout of AX1's week two, which was an upper body pull. And I don't like to do upper body push, upper body pull back to back. I like to sandwich lower body in there. So this today was week three's midweek strength training workout lower body. And I tweaked it a little bit. So I, I kind of hit two birds with one stone. As I've said numerous times, AX1 comes with an option. You could do basically commercial gym and home gym basically means you got heavy, you have access to heavy weights, heavy lifting, or you're using more dumbbells, resistance bands. Um, I, for this workout, chose to do more which I, I, why I chose AX1, the ground-based athletic movements that were basically body weight. And I took those four moves, because the fifth was a core move, and I turned those into a circuit, lower body circuit. And as I said last week, his lower body workouts are, they have quite a, a cardio aspect to them. So I hit lower body strength training with some, with my cardio, which, it was nice and but this morning I knew I had this window of time to do this workout I chose to do my core four workout this morning which was really nice I did a low impact a little bit longer um, warm-up and then I was able to give core four my full attention and effort this morning sometimes 
that's the one issue and i remember running into this the last time i did core 4 because i paired it with beast uh core 4 was like my almost like an afterthought like after i put all my my effort and energy into my main program usually it's like oh, like i am not in the mood to tackle a second program even when it's core four that's like 15 minutes it's still like mentally my brain is like we're done lights off walk away but it was nice this morning it was nice giving that my full 100 percent of attention and i'm taking that into account as i move forward and think things through because so i'm cutting core four for now um, I, I find I prefer to do the main program and core four separate. I don't like to do them back to back. It's too much. And that isn't really possible in the summer. Once the school season starts, that's an, that's absolutely a possibility. I still get up in the morning, work out, and then the kids are gone during the day and I can do another workout in the middle of the day. So, um, I'm tabling core four for a little while until September. Hey everybody, it is Monday, the day after 4th of July, and yesterday I finished up uh, week three of AX1, and I did some extra core, I did some extra um, cardio, so I'm taking the rest day today, and then I, over the weekend, and it might even still be going on today, Jeff offered a new one month program, All American Muscle, which he, in the walkthrough video, alludes to this must be the next program that he's working on and is going to come out, full program. But um, if you purchased, if you purchased $75 worth of products, whether that be supplements or a program, you got it free. And I had already known that I really wanted to tackle max size next or in the future. So I made that purchase to get that program. And now I'm almost, I'm feeling a little behind. I have Dragon, one month Dragon bonus, All American Muscle bonus, which is one month, and then max size. So I'm starting to feel like it's time to, to take on my next program because they're starting to stack up and I'm falling behind. And I, I'm, I'm noticing the need for his programs. I just feel like, um, first off, I'm loving the heavy lifting. That's, I'm finding right now where I'm at, I'm enjoying that. And a lot of people allude to, it is fully possible to put your own program together just off the free stuff he offers on YouTube. Unfortunately, I'm the type of person that my I can overthink anything and everything. <laughs> and when I if I tried to create my own program just on his free YouTube stuff, I would drive myself mentally insane. I would start having eye twitches and everything. This is why I buy the programs because here it is. It is entirely laid out for you. Watch the demos and don't overthink it. Just do what you're told to do. So that being said, I've decided, um, I've made it this, those three weeks, which it was not three weeks, I condensed AX1 um, down, was a great recovery period from heavy lifting. It was a nice slowdown. I already told you, core four on top of a program right now just isn't possible in the summer with as busy and chaotic as it is. So I know max size, I don't want to tackle that until my kids are back in school and then I would like to do core four on top of that. But I came down to Dragon and All American Muscle. Dragon is total body workouts that include abs four days a week and cardio. One day is specifically running and the other day is, I believe it's called FAT, P-H-A-T, peripheral heart um, training, which is another cardio element in the program. All American Muscle is an upper lower body split 
with two days he calls combined days, which is burst training basically. He said you're you're looking for the uh, American muscle, so some speed, agility, with heavy lifting. Um, the two cardio days, burst training days, whichever you'd like to call it, in American muscle, one day specifically focuses on jump training, which in those cardio burst training sessions, there's multiple, multiple components to them. Um, so the jump training, it's not just jump rope. There's a bunch of different jumping moves in it. Running days are, I should say cardio days. Um, when you look at it briefly off the top of my head, I remember there are some like sprints, 10 yard sprints where you backpedal, you're doing an agility ladder, you're, there's another one I think where you lay, you're laying down, you jump up and sprint. It looks like a, a lot of elements in one workout, which is awesome, but that is something else I would prefer to tackle when I can get outside and the kids aren't around. But it has no, no core work in it. So I have put a lot of thought. I have reviewed the workouts quite a bit. I am going to start Dragon tomorrow. That's a 30 day program. I believe after Dragon, I would like to tackle um, All American Muscle. And that should take me into max size and core four, and the kids should be back in school. But uh, so, tomorrow morning, taking on the Dragon uh, one month program, which was the bonus to Old School Iron when you purchased it around the time it came out. So I will see you guys next week for Dragon.